Hey YouTube, what is up? And welcome to tutorial number 41. And in this tutorial, I just want to talk to you guys about labels and text boxes. So as you can see in the last tutorial, I left off with you guys and I told you guys what forms are. And uh, we had this blank input box on our screen. So let me just go ahead and uh, run this in Firefox. Uh, just to refresh your memory and as you can see we've just got this blank input box there's nothing there and it's a blank web page other than the input box and uh, you can see how this might be confusing when a user comes to your website if they just come here and they see an input box and they're like okay what the heck do you want me to type here and then you know like what the hell they don't know what to fill in so that's why we have these awesome tags called labels and uh, what you then do is you just start off with a starting label tag and then you have to end it off with a ending label tag and I'm just gonna give some space there and whatever's in between here is your label so we can go ahead and say uh, just put in name and when we save that and we come ahead and we click refresh here we now have a nice label for our input box. So now the user comes to our website and they're like, oh, okay, you want me to fill in my name? Okay, so now they understand. Okay, so <laughs> I've probably said okay a lot, but now they know that they need to fill in their name. So that's the reason why that's there. And um, it's good practice to link your label to the input element that it's. Uh, for so the, re the the way they do this is you have to add in an attribute inside your label called for and equal sign and inside here you will put the ID of the element that this label is for so seeing as this label needs to be for our input let's go ahead and give our input an ID of first name first name and we can probably just go ahead and copy this because these things have to be the same paste and now our browser knows that this label is for this input box so that's pretty simple pretty straightforward and I'm pretty sure you guys understand that but if I go ahead and I refresh this there is no like visual change to the website so uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna talk to you guys about a few more attributes that you can put in your input box and uh, I can see we're probably gonna run out of space here so I'm just gonna go down to a new line and one of the most commonly used attributes on a text box is the max length max length attribute and what this does is it sets a maximum length for our text box because if I go back to our browser right now and I type in here without refreshing anything just yet if I just type I can type away forever and ever and ever <laughs> and the text box is just gonna carry on taking whatever I type in and putting it inside the text box so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven you know so and so forth but if I go ahead and I add in this attribute called max length and I set that equal to a number so let's go ahead and set that equal to 10 and we go ahead and click save then I can only type in 10 characters over here I have to click refresh first okay cool so I can only type in 10 characters and if you don't believe me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and well, 0 for 10. And uh, as you can see, there's no more space. So while I type, I'm just going to lean over my keyboard. Okay, while I'm typing, it's not going into my text box. There's nothing going in there. So <laughs> now you guys can believe me. There is, once you've got a max length, you can't type anything and um, the next attribute that you probably got you guys will probably use a lot 
is called the size attribute and what that does is it just changes the length of how long your input box is so let's say I set our length to or our size equal to 10 and then I go back to our browser over here and I click refresh you can see that our input box got smaller and then if I go ahead and I set this equal to 100 click save we're now going to have a really long input box when I click refresh so refresh and you can see it's now 100 long so those are pretty much the attributes that you'll use all the time when you're using a text box so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next tutorial